Hi, this is Fran Pudry from Vernier Software and Technology. I'm demonstrating how to use Vernier DataShare on a Chromebook and Plotly online to analyze data collected using LabQuest 2. I've already connected to my LabQuest 2 and my data is in DataShare. I used a motion detector and a cart rolling down a ramp. So I have my data and uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to linearize the position data and I can't do that in DataShare. So that's why I'm going to use Plotly. First, I need to download the data. So I go to the export, I choose download data, and I'm going to choose my title of cart on ramp, and it downloads. Next, I go to my Plotly, where I've already signed into my free online account, and choose to import that file. It opens the file and automatically chooses the first two columns as your X and Y columns. I'm going to change this to a scatter plot and go ahead and see what that looks like. And it looks exactly like I saw in the data share, only this time the dots aren't connected. Well, as I said, I want to linearize this. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a new calculated column of times squared, because to me, that looks like what the relationship's going to be. So I'm going to unselect those things and choose formulas. And I want to do something squared. What do I want to square? I want to square time. So I choose that as my x for this formula. And then I choose run. And it creates a new column. Now I can graph position versus time squared by choosing the time squared column as my x and my position again as y. So this time I'm going to choose make a plot. I want a scatter plot. It's going to insert into a new plot. Let me get rid of this stuff on the bottom. Um, and I'm going to click on scatter plot. And it looks pretty linear. So there are some things that I can do with this. For one thing, I can edit this uh, axis label. So instead of x squared, it says time squared. I can put a title up here. position versus time squared. And of course, what I'd really like to do is put a linear fit on this. So I'm going to choose fit to data. And I'm going to do a linear function. And one of the nice things about this is it actually lets you make some guesses. So when I guess, I think my intercept looks like it's about 0. So I'm going to choose that. And my slope seems to be hmm, 0.8 over 8. So that's 0.1. So one, and I'm going to show the guess so I can see, was I close? Yeah, I'm pretty close. That's not bad, actually. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and run the fit. So now the computer uh, is going to actually figure out what the real values should be. Um, so here I have a, a slope of 0 0.098, which is very close to 0.1. And I have an intercept of 0 0.02, which is close to 0. I'm going to add the results as a plot annotation and say OK. And get rid of that. And now you can see I can move this around. And nicely, I can edit this as well. So I was really looking at position and the intercept then is going to be in meters. And here, this is going to be my time squared. But my units for this are going to be uh, meters per second squared. So I'm going to have to fit that in there. And I can put in parentheses, too, just so that you don't get confused between what are the units and what are the variables. I know my students used to have difficulty with that at the beginning. So there we are. And it looks very nice. I can move my legend so it's no longer uh, over part of my plot. And then I'm going to want to save this. And if I'm a student, share this with my teacher. So I go to share. Oh, I need to name it. So once again, I'm going to call it cart on ramp. And then it gives me some options for sharing this. Um, I'm going to make this one public so that you'll be able to see it. All right. Um, so I will put the link to this uh, in the text of the blog post. Uh, 
I'm going to also include student options here. You can uncheck this and that goes away. Uh, but as a student, I would want to put my name. I'd want to put today's date. I'd want to put, uh, sure, this is going to be a screencast project. And I'm probably in physics class. All right. And I'm going to share this with my teacher, or in this case, my boss. I've shared things with him before, so he comes up as an option. Uh, and I can notify him via email. Now, I've already done this several times for him, so I am not going to notify him via email for this one. Um, but you probably want your students to notify you via email. So now I'm going to save this. And I'm done. So note that we at Vernier do not uh, offer technical support for Plotly. However, they do have a help menu, and you can ask them questions using their feedback option. Uh, you can send an email directly to them. Um, however, we do provide technical support for using DataShare on your Chromebooks with your LabQuest 2 and can help you connect uh, to get your LabQuest 2 data onto your Chromebook. Uh, you can email us at support at vernier.com for tech support, or you can call us toll-free at 888-837-6437. Thanks for watching.